Hey YouTube, this is 65 Jake Stars review of the Crossman P9T. Now the first thing I noticed about this gun is that it looks exactly the same as the Crossman Stinger P9. And with the name P9T on the box, I thought it had to be similar. And the first thing I noticed was on the grip that it's wider. And on the front, it's got these little serrates for your hand. And on the back, it's got these bubbles to help you grip it better. And the second thing I noticed was these lines on the cocker thingy and the flat back on it. So when I bought this gun, I realized it's got the 15-round clip that's in the Crossman Stinger P50, the M9 review that I did. And I guess all new pistols have that now. And after I got this thing, I realized that this is the remake of the Smith & Wesson 40 cal that copied off of Walther's, they didn't copy, but they got permission to use the same design as the Walther P99, which is the Crossman Stinger P9, and the P9T is the Smith & Wesson 40 cal that is the same gun, just converted to a 40. Now, um, a little bit of difference is it's got a little uh, blocker right here for the screw to go in if, if you mounted anything. And um, it, it goes about 300 PS instead of the 275 of the P9. And it just feels like a better quality gun. I mean, the plastic feels more thicker, and I like the designs better a lot. I mean, it, it's, it's a pretty quiet gun. It's kind of hard to cock, hard to pull the trigger, which I like. Um, just regular blade and leaf sights, no dots or glow in the dark. Uh, it gets, it's got the same mag release, this little thing right here you press down that falls out. It's got the same safety as the Stinger P50. And, um, what else is the same? I guess it's all it's the same, but yeah, it's hitting about 300 FPS. It's, it's pretty accurate with 12 and 25 grams. With 12 it starts to rise though because they're, you know, lighter. But with 25s, you can probably hit a target from 50 feet away. Yeah, it's, it's a nice gun. For 30 bucks, I, I would buy it. Yep. Clip goes in easy. Cock's kind of hard. Trigger pull's kind of hard. Do a little firing test here on this paper bag. This paper bag right here. I mean, it, it goes through that at this, at this distance. My room's a disaster. I'm cleaning it tomorrow. My mom dumped all of her clothes in here for some reason. Well, that's pretty much it. It's a really good gun. I got it at Dick's. I don't think Walmart has it. Um, it's a really nice gun. Feels great. Good weight. It's, I think it's about a pound. And if you like Crossman Stinger P9, you might as well try this, right? And the only difference that I saw from the Stinger P9 is it doesn't have that lock thing that when you cock it and you're on a bullet, it doesn't lock. You, you remember you had to push that thing down on the, ping, on the P9? You don't got to do that in this one. So, yeah. Really good gun. Buy it.